Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you how to use your clip-in hair extensions. These are from Irresistible Me. They're 24 inch long, 200 gram extensions and I'll include all the details on those below. Any questions you have I'll try to answer there. This one is the 4 clip weft. It comes with 10 wefts total. This one's the thickest amount of hair on one weft. It's got those 4 clips. And then next we have two wefts that have three clips on them. These I use almost every single time. I've got really high quality clips. They work really well. So two of those wefts that are three clips. Next we have five wefts that have two clips each. So these are smaller. They really come in handy for filling in those spots on the side of the head, things like that. They've just got two clips on the outside. So these are really good little filler pieces. I'm really glad it came with five. So that's all five of those. And then it did come with two wefts that had one clip each, but I kind of just used those for color testing and maybe smaller braids, so I'm not going to show those. That's what all of the wefts look like together. Tons of hair to work with. Really, really great brand. So go ahead and put them in. So you take your clippy section back your hair. I just meet my two fingers back on the back of my head and just section off a little thin piece of hair towards the bottom of my scalp. That's where you put your first weft that you're going to use and just kind of make sure the hair is brushed out, no tangles, and you're ready to go. So you'll take your two clip weft, one of those little guys. I think that's all you really need when you're first starting out here. You don't want a heavy piece weighing your, weighing you down on the back of your head. So we put that one in. I like to hold the hair and then put the clip on rather than just snapping the clip on the back of my head. I just find it holds better that way. So that's my little technique. So you make sure that's in there really well and you move on to your next clip. So you do another section, just a thin little layer right above that of hair. I have really thin hair, so I have to do pretty thin little sections. If you have thicker hair, you could probably get away with a thicker section. So I've got my little thin section there to put my next clip on, which is going to be a three clip weft this time, because I've got a little more scalp to work with, a little longer of an area. So we'll clip that on. I start with the middle clip this time. Again, holding the hair up and then putting the clip on. Same with the right and the left side. And sometimes it's good to adjust. So you, you clip it on, but then maybe it moved a little. So you just redo that one. So they're really secure and you're just ready to go for the day. You don't have to worry about them all day. So they're ready to go. Now for the middle piece. This is the big, thick weft that you're going to put towards the middle of your scalp do the same technique meeting my fingers on the back of the head but I'll do it about halfway down my scalp maybe a little bit lower than that you don't want to go too high or you'll start to see them so this is about halfway down and you'll take that four clip weft the biggest one and make sure it's kind of brushed out and tangles and the middle two clips are where you'll start so again I hold the hair and then put the clip on same with the other clip and then you just kind of go inside out so now I'm on the outside clips and make sure they're really secure this piece you want really well secured in there all day so that one's ready to go and then you do one more weft right above that just a little thin section of hair again you don't want to get too high on the scalp just try to keep it pretty thin so you're not creeping up there where people might be able to see the tracks so I take my last three clip weft, I pick that one and again secure it, same as all the others, starting with the middle clip and then doing the outside clips, making sure they're really on there well, not going anywhere for the day. And then you prep the hair back down and then I kind of like to work through it just make sure nothing's sticking out if I need to redo anything I'd like to know now rather than when I'm all done so just make sure it's ready to go everything's really incorporated I'll brush it out later and then now I'll do the sides which is where the little two clip guys come in handy so 
I take probably right about my temple, I'll draw back a little line along my scalp of where to put my first two clip left. So I go all the way back, clip that hair up, you know it's really attractive. I'm going to take my two clip left and you want to make sure you do not go too close to your face or if you put your hair behind your ear or something you might be able to see it. So I like to put that one in first just to kind of gauge where I need to go and then put the back one in and then redo the first one because it wasn't put in very well. That's usually my technique and they stay in really well, especially the little two piece clips. They're really firm. So now I'll do one more higher on my scalp, kind of above, right above the other one. Put that hair back and then do the same technique where I'm putting that front clip in real loosely, just making sure I know where I want it, and then getting that back clip where I want it, and then redoing the first one. That's usually my best technique, just to get them in really secure and not too close to the face at all, to where someone might see your little wefts. So, I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. So I'm going to go real quick through that. I don't really need to go over it again. I think you guys have it. Reach all the hairs incorporated. That's what I like to do. You can see what it looks like. Here we're speeding through this other side. I just did the same thing. The only thing to note is probably to make sure it lines up with the other side. You know, I check that here, just make sure it's the same as on the other side. Yep. So you grab the two clip wefts again, stick those in, make sure they're in there really well, and then kind of finger brush through, make sure we're, we're all incorporated. And that's all we really do. And then what I might do is back comb a little bit at the scalp. Just make sure none of my wefts are showing. And if my hair moves a little bit, nothing's showing. So that's an added step you can do. Just added protection that no one can see them, I guess. So this is what all of the hair looks like in. Just every single weft, so much hair. With that fun mermaid hair. I would really only use every single weft for maybe braids or if I'm going for a really dramatic look I might do that so this isn't a super common look I would do I'd probably only use two or three of the wefts maybe one two clip weft on each side of my hair for an everyday look but it's still so much fun to be able to have that option of just as much hair as you want whenever and I do want to point out that I know that these don't match my hair exactly right now. My hair's super faded at the moment, but I kind of liked how I could show you which, were, which hair was the extension and which was my real hair. You can kind of differentiate when the color's different, but 99% of the time they do match. So you've probably seen them in pictures. You can tell they do match normally, but you guys get the idea. So... I really love the extensions. I have a lot of fun with them. They're great for all kinds of hairstyles you want to do. Irresistible Me is an awesome brand too. I've been really happy with them and they usually have a coupon code which I will put down below if they have one going on right now for you. So I hope you learned something and thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you felt like this was helpful and subscribe because I'll be doing lots more videos in the future. So thanks so much.